What's up, Wargamers? Welcome back to World of Wargaming. I hope your Monday is starting off as well as mine. The Arsenal won at Everton last week. Hemetsu has shipped from Black Sight Studios. It's going to be a good week, folks. And we're going to kick off the week by digging into my pile of opportunity. For those of you that might not be aware, the pile of opportunity is what I call what many of you refer to as your pile of shame. That closet slash room slash small home that's absolutely filled to the brim with boxes of unopened, unpainted models. So today we're going to dig into that and we're going to take a look at the Basilian Starter Fleet for Armada from Mantic Games. Now, this box retails at about 50, 40 to 50 bucks or so. I think I may have found it for a deal on eBay. However, they have recently started their own kind of subscription STL service that delivers large numbers of boats from what I understand. And from what I said in the beginning, it was a little bit iffy on the, the supports and the way that was done, but they've corrected and, and improved on a lot of that. And now it's apparently a pretty solid service. I want to say it's like 15 bucks a month and it gets you a lot of boats. But while I do love STLs and 3D printing, there is still a joy to opening a new physical toy that I don't have to make myself. So let's flip this camera around and let's take a look inside this Basilian Starter Fleet. Starter Fleet, right? Yeah, Starter Fleet. Inside this first bag, in the box, we've got what looks like a Gunrunner, a Gur, Panther, a Gunbrig, oh no, an Abyss. We have an Abyss in this one. So the booster fleet or the starter one that I had from the starter box, two player starter, came with like two Gur Panthers. And so this has got a new ship in it for me. I'm assuming, let's see. So one thing that I absolutely adore about Mantic's resin models is this right here. Actually was, see that right there? That G32? That's there to tell you or which, that's not a three, that's a B, which boat it goes to. So this is the gun brig. This has got an E, so this sail goes to the Elohi. Now I, I've heard people getting like bad casts and stuff from them in this line. But every boat that I have opened has been super, super clean. Just beautiful, beautiful resin. It's not flimsy like some resin you get. Now there have been some bent pieces here. Like I had one of the other Elohi. This, this piece right here was not very straight. But that's a pretty minimal thing in the long run. You know? So I'm assuming this, this bag right here is the Alohi and the Gunbring. Nope, there's a piece to the Abyss. This is all just tussled in here every which way, apparently. Here we have the other Elohi sail. Again, just, these are just beautiful sculpts. These boats are just awesome, which too, it helps that I love boats and boat games. Here we have A4. We have A4, so that's going to be in it. Abyss piece, and this is a big friggin' sale, y'all. Now, word to the wise, if you are, if you've stumbled across this video and you are new to Armada or you're thinking about getting into Armada and you've never actually like painted any of the boats before, please, please, please heed my advice and paint the sails and the hulls separately. Because if you glue them in and try to paint it, it can be done, but it takes a lot longer than it should. Normally, if you sit down, you can hammer these boats out Unless you're going for, you know, very, very, very top-end paint jobs. But you can get a really quality paint job on these boats in, like, a couple of hours. Got an Abyss, probably front sail, I'm guessing. Not like the front, front jib, but like the front full sail, the smaller one. Again, with that beautiful Basilian symbol sculpted into it. That's a gun rig piece. This looks like, yep, this looks like part of that. Nope, this is the back sail. This is the bow or the the stern sail. The stern is the back of the boat. The bow is the front of the boat. I know those words, I think. This doesn't have the little brick attached to it, but I assume that this is the front sail of the Atmos because I compared it to the box. Because sometimes, every once in a while, I have a good idea. See? 
I see how they did this. So one of the bags is sales and the other bag is hulls. Come on out guys, gals. And these things are usually pretty sturdy. These are pretty hefty. So this is a chunk of the Abyss. I love that these come like all these little cannons and stuff like are not separate pieces that I have to glue on. I hate building models. I love painting them and I super love pushing them around the table, but I don't like putting them. So I love models where it's just a few pieces or just one piece is super nice. This is the Elohi hole. So we got two sails. And then the other piece will mount onto the front right here, that figurehead with the torch and everything. We've got the front end of the Abyss. Now this, this is an absolute work of art with this filigree knot work, kind of Ringerica type pattern. Nice little figurehead sculpted in of a woman with a sword and a shield, a shield maiden attached to the front. Absolutely beautiful. And this is going to be a joy to paint, you know, like I'll paint this whole thing brown and then I'll just dry brush the gold very, very lightly. It'll pick up those edges and it will be lustrous and very, very minimal. Now here on this back end, look at this. This is like a whole church on a daggone boat. Now with this, I'm, I just, I'm compelled, like I'm going to not spend a lot of time, but I'm definitely going to like try to put some color in these windows so that it looks like stained glass to even further sell that floating cathedral kind of vibe that it's got going. I'm a, I'm a little daunted, but also fairly excited about that, the, the proposition of that. But again, there's a little bit of bubbling down there, but that's on part of the model that you're never really going to see. So not such a big deal and then these are my these are my favorite i love these gun brigs they're just a streamlined sweet little boat you got your cannon that sits down right there the single sail and they just are a tiny boat with a big old gun and i am here for it i haven't played my basilian fleet in a long time most of the time that i've played the past few games i've been playing my orcs just because i had already had more of those painted and assembled so i had a larger fleet so which means that we could finally start to play bigger games but these are these are on the way because again like i said these can be painted very 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 quickly and i learned a lot from the first time i painted my basilians about some shortcuts and some things like for some reason the sails the first time i painted them just took me absolutely forever and like very towards the very end i was like you know what i could have just done abc instead of z. anyways these are some pretty awesome boats i'm a fan i'm glad that i finally broke them out and had a good look at them probably should have done that a long time ago considering that i bought them on the internet not necessarily from you know direct from the manufacturer like i probably should have opened it could have been just a bunch of you know these things floating around in there luckily that was not the case now that's not the only thing we have in the box though we have our bases now and there are a lot of options for bases i i have no problem using the mdf and i just do my own kind of little water effect thing with some paint and glue and one ply toilet paper it also comes with some MDF tokens for Blessed Hole, Aegis Shield, and the Captains. And I may, or I know that I have some of these. I may already have these, but I like that these are in inclusion. I feel like maybe these weren't in the booster fleet that I bought. But I guess since, for the Orcs, but I guess it's because it's a starter fleet, you get more of that information. And then we've got the cards. I like these big oversized cards for playability and for my old eyes, but it would be nice if they were smaller because it's easier to store them when they're smaller. But these are, as always, super high quality, shiny, glossy card stock, good color, good printing. And unlike the cards for a lot of games, like I've noticed a trend in a lot of games that include cards with models is that they give you the cards, but then... Like when you buy the models, those cards are already out of date and fact out. Um, I like that stuff doesn't really change that much in this game. 
So all of this is still valid. And then the ship for the gun brig. And then we've got some Basil another card of Basilian fleet rules, as well as Basilian specific upgrades and more upgrades. And I've also recently um, acquired the Armada supplement that has magic and flyers and stuff in it. So hopefully there will be some of that coming soon. But for today, this is gonna that's gonna do it for our little trip through my pile of opportunity thanks so much for tuning in hanging out while i opened up some new toys i hope you have an absolutely amazing rest of your day and as always i'd like to say a big huge from the bottom of my heart thank you to our patrons who support us and pledge to us over on patreon you guys are the absolute best if you enjoyed the content you saw here today and that's something that you would like to consider doing to help out the channel go over there check out the link in the description check out the patreon there's a lot of cool stuff over there including access to our discord server talk to me hang out with me talk about our work what we got going on in the hobby um some shout outs all kinds of cool stuff check it out if that's something that you think you would be into and regardless of whether or not you do that i want you to know that i am incredibly grateful that you decided to stop by and spend part of your day with me today, rolling dice and pushing toy soldiers around. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. And as always, may the dice be ever in your favor.